Hello everybody. Um, in my September setup or, uh, in my bullet journal, I said that I was having issues um, drawing a circle tracker. And I did a little bit of research and this seems to be the key, this, this, this doohickey here. So um, I've bought one <laughs> to have a go and to give you my first impressions on what it is like to use. Is it easy to use um, or is that lot? The scent no of it spins like so. I do know from watching one video that it also moves slightly. So you have to be careful to make sure that your circles all match. Um, now I've just got to figure out how to get it out. Yeah, like so. Okay, well that was, uh, that was quite simple. So I've got here um, a, a book with some dot grid in that I haven't actually used for anything. Now, my issue with the one that I saw was that he only used the inside and it made a really, really small circle. And he had to go back a good inch on either side. So what I thought was, if you were to draw around the outside, how far away then would, you know, it, it might make a nice big border for your, your days of the week or something. I, I don't know, I don't know. So we're gonna have a play. I'm just wondering what pen to use. I'm going to use a S size or 0.3 mil size pit artist pen. Right. I have lined up the zero with the dot grid. I've got light dot grid printed on this and the 180. And apparently that's you, you need to make sure that that is absolutely 100% lined up. So I'm going to start off by drawing a circle around the outside. Trying very hard to make sure it doesn't move. <laughs> My nails don't get in the way. Okay, so I'm going to push it slightly so that it's up at the top. And I'm going to try and make it that my pen is pushing towards the rim all the way around. Oh, that's, that's okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. So let's see how many... of these we can do. That's the concentric circles. And then you've got these big circles around there. So I don't know how you would make sure that that is in the middle though. So that's what I've got so far. So let's lift this out of the way and see what we've got. I see that's a hell of a gap, isn't it? there i personally would prefer it if if you could draw that but i suppose i would i would have to maybe use a compass or something so let's have a look how would i i think you would just have to guess you would also have to hold the stencil still while you drew your circles in the middle Ah, now, ah, you've got one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. Well, you don't want that many, do you? So, they appear to be an eighth in. So, if I go, that'd be right. Hang on, let me use their little um, ruler thing. Two eighths of an inch. So I would need six eighths next. I think. <laughs> if you wanted to go that small. You could go one smaller, but I don't want to go quite that small. So you could go really small on a track. And obviously I, I wouldn't need to go that small. Now, apparently this thing will also draw lines for you, which I probably should have done before uh, moving the thing. Now, you would want to line your arrow up 
with the zero but then you've also got the issue that's actually quite a big gap so I don't think I would do that I think I would probably get a pencil and I'll, sh I'll show you for a while I'll show you using a pencil okay because this is about the same this is a 0 0.3 you have got a huge gap there I don't know if you can see that pencil Hang on, let me show you by doing it I'll move it up here so I'm still in line with the with the thing but you've got you see that bit of pencil there that's a good two mil wide which to me That would bug me that would really really bug me unless you sort of deliberately did it that uh, right so you line up your zero and your 180 you could either do it that you're just gonna say right well it will be two mil off that's fine or maybe move it back a couple of degrees but I wouldn't know how to get that exactly right so if you did it that is bang on and then stayed one side you could do it and then I would do it maybe every 10 degrees and don't forget you've got the other side as well you would have to remember to use the other side of that as you as you went round yeah I mean that that would work that would work so let, let's do it with with the with a pen let's say sod it and jump straight in shall we I mean, if I didn't uh, keep this outer side bit, I would be I would use that bit for days, and then I'd be able to track one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. The line runs out on this circle here, so the two eights and the four eights are kind of a bit pointless if you want the straight lines. Okay, so let's line this up like so line that up hold it down with your finger okay and then go from one side see this line is longer actually you would be better off using this line because this line goes all the way All the way to the middle that line goes and then line it up every 10 degrees you would stop obviously at 300 for 30 days it would then give you this lovely amount of space to write in whatever um, as you can see there's no point in having that smaller circle there what was that that was two eights wasn't it so I would probably say stop at that circle um, unless you want to sort of fill in the middle to make it you know look pretty or whatever and um, yeah there's one slightly longer line and one slightly shorter line that line there was where I realised that that was longer and it obviously wasn't in position so you would then have to if you wanted to extend it um, line it up and do it with a ruler yourself if you wanted to do that you know um, Which, if you wanted to decorate it, you could, I suppose, all the way round. Whatever. So I think comfortably, that would give you what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen things to track. Well, that's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. 
the only way you could add in more circles was if you were willing to use a compass i think um i don't have anything else to hand i have circle stencils and that but they don't go up to that big um if you were willing to use a compass then you could work out the um distance required between the 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 circles but that just seems like an awful lot of faffing doesn't it i don't think i would bother with that so yeah there you go um i will use that i'm glad i bought it actually um when i when i actually bought it i thought oh my god you know i've just spent like six pound fifty um what if it's pants or what if i don't use it but i think i will i think i can i can see me using that 14 things to track that could be quite good you know uh, yeah. so there we go that is the helix stencil circular stencil circular drawing tool or whatever it's called um i will leave a link down below um to amazon.co.uk so you can see what it looks like online and then look on your relevant amazons for it um it it looks really flimsy you know i mean if i was gonna look at oh christ you know is it worth six pound fifty i don't know i suppose it depends on how much you use it doesn't it <laughs> i'll use it in october definitely for, for october definitely because i've already drawn my september setup um and i i do a square one because you can do all that with a ruler <laughs> But, um, see, I'll track 20 things there. So I need something that I can track 20 things on. Because <laughs> that won't cut it. But it would cut, um, it would do for, like, you know, maybe mood and, um, a mood tracker or something if you wanted to. But I could get a maximum just using this of, 14 i mean if you want to use it for a mood tracker you could count that middle circle as well as your as, as number one and then the next one is two which would make it that you have 15 circles um if you like i say if you want more you would have to figure out another way to draw them in and i'm sure if you did you could get five more circles in there to make it 20 if that's what you wanted so yeah um for build well i know loads of people have got them and they seem to last really really well so about eight out of ten you know does it work yes it does you just have to take into account that this middle bit not only swivels but it moves from side to side so when you're drawing your circles make sure that you're pushing it to the outer rim of your stencil so that you don't get the overlap on the circles okay um in regards to what's the thickest you can use in the middle um well i've got an f which is 0 0.5 and even then i've still got wiggle room in the middle of that um i've got an m but i don't know what they are it's only slightly thicker i think that's about a point zero point seven, and that that would work quite well in the middle of that to draw to draw lines if you wanted to use a thicker pen this is running out so it's not quite not quite so good but yeah an m size pit artist pen would uh would work in the straight lines without too much wiggle room so yeah um yeah i would use that i'm going to keep it i'm going to use it uh yeah quite impressed actually for a not too expensive bit of kit thank you so much for joining me today i really do appreciate it um if you have any comments questions suggestions feedback you know did i miss something um do you know of an easier way than using a compass that will give me these nice neat concentric circles um to give me maybe an extra few lines that i could get 20 odd things on there because i track everything in my life do you know what i mean i could probably whittle my thing down quite easily but it's fun in that there's things for me to track um is there any other bit of kit you'd like me to have a go at you know if you've seen something else you're like oh well you know what about 
Um, I have tried the Moxie Dory uh, stencil, by the way. Um, I'll see if I can find the video and link that for you up in the cards. Um, I didn't like it very much. Um, I think it was all right the first time I used it, but I just fell out of love. It wasn't as easy to use as this, you know. But I might have another go. Maybe that's what I need to do now that I'm a bit, a bit better at that kind of thing. Hello, everybody. I have just um, recorded a video on how to use this. And then I remembered, um, because I drew my doohickey and I drew around the outside of the entire device first and then I went to the first hole, which gave me this massive gap. And then I remembered that I had a Moxie Dory, the larger one. Okay, I've had this for a few years and to be honest, I've, I've used it once, I think. So I thought I would give it another go because last time I used it, I wasn't that impressed. So I'm going to give it another go, <laughs> all right? Now, you need a paper clip for the middle of it. This is what annoyed me a bit. I've already marked with a little black dot the middle of my, um, my uh, page, okay? So I'm going to, now I believe what you do is you line up your stencil with the middle of your dot and you put your paper clip in it. Right, first and foremost, it does not go any smaller than this first circle that I'm going to have a go at drawing. It also doesn't move very um, smoothly. Okay, that's the smallest circle you will get using this Moxie Dory. Unless you've got the other stencil and um see your own hands get in the way that's what i'm not in love with about it if you angle your paper clip it's going to affect your circles okay which sucks quite frankly i'll be honest the hand holding the paper clip hurts I'm drawing all over this in an effort to try and find the hole. Yeah, see, it lifts. It's good in that it draws um, a bigger circle than the helix. I've still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 circles which will take me up to just out of you know if you're curious it would take me up to that big which means that i could do a lot more um um i could track a lot more things sorry my mind went blank then but it's messy you know when you're trying to find when you're reaching round because you're holding this fucking paper clip it's look it's really and there it doesn't even meet up because you lean the paper clip and it pulls the stencil out of the way so while that maybe does bigger circles that looks neater so i think i would stick with the helix if i'm if i'm going if i'm comparing the two the, the Moxie Dory stencil and the Helix, I think I would stay with the Helix. I mean, you know, judge for yourself. If you're if you're not bothered by um, um, they give you an instruction sheet on how to use it. The other thing as well is that this has, I mean, this has the the little notches in it. And it gives you one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, you then have to either use a ruler or the straight edge of the stencil to do your lines, whereas at least the helix does the lines for you. So, you know, it really comes down to if you don't mind that this might happen, then yeah, by all means, get one of these. You can track a sh shit ton more of the stuff than, than what you can with the helix. But I don't like how messy it is. That that bugs me. 
and I would be pissed off if I did this every month that would drive me absolutely batty so yeah um yeah now I can't remember I think I might have offered this to April and then promptly forgot to send it to her April if I did could you let me know in the comments down below if I didn't is there anybody who would be interested in this and I would happily send it to you it will not cost me much to post it's you know I think my issue with it is it's thin you know it's really really thin it's a very clever idea but it's thin and it moves too much I just don't this at least you could hold it down there's something there to give you stability you don't get that with this so April if you don't want this let me know down below and if anybody else might be interested in this you know what chuck your names down below and if I get more than one person that wants it if I haven't already offered it to April then um, I'll pull names out of a hat if you want it let me know so there we go thank you so so much for joining me today <laughs> I really do appreciate it any comments questions suggestions feedback anything like that please do leave it down below um, every comment gets a like a love or a written response uh please feel free to give me a thumbs up i really really do appreciate thumbs ups on my channel because they're great uh if you click the book down in the bottom right hand corner of this screen you will be subscribed and if you hit the bell you'll then be notified when i upload new content thank you for joining me today i really do appreciate it have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll see you next time take it easy guys bye